What's up, guys, and welcome to my review for The Fall Guy. This is directed by David Leach, who's directed films like Deadpool 2 and most recently Bullet Train, which I do really like both of those films, so I was looking forward to seeing this. I thought it would be fun, and it's gotten a lot of really good reviews, people saying that it's a fun summer action film. And while I agree with that, I'm going to be honest with you, I barely liked this film. Um, it's the story of a stuntman played by Ryan Gosling, who, look, the story, if I'm going to put it bluntly, no pun intended, Emily Blunt is also starring in this movie, is the director of the film she's making. And look, Ryan Gosling's the stuntman. He's the stuntman for Aaron Taylor Johnson's character. Something goes wrong. There's an accident where he sort of gets ashamed of himself and disappears for a while and that you know really upsets Emily Blunt's character and when he's needed to come back into the fray she's not as happy with him but as the film goes on they have to rekindle their relationship while a mystery is taking place Aaron Taylor Johnson's character has disappeared where did he go well, Ryan Gosling's character is brought in to help find out. The way that the plot moves forward and the twists that happen in the movie, I wasn't a big fan of. I didn't think the story was very engaging. I thought it was moderately entertaining. But the first like 30 minutes of this film are kind of hard to get through. I thought the first 30 minutes of this movie were really slow and not very well written. And I think the screenplay as a whole is not very well written. Ryan Gosling is, you know, likable, and he's playing the cool, funny guy, but there's nothing about this character that makes me care about him. Emily Blunt as well, she's just kind of getting a paycheck and having fun with this. I didn't really think there was any kind of thing to make me care about what I was watching, and I didn't care about the story, and I didn't get engaged into it. I think Aaron Taylor Johnson in this film is not great. I think when he's, you know, you see him playing the role that he's playing in Emily Blunt's movie, um, he's sort of doing a Matthew McConaughey impression. I just think it really fell flat for me, and the movie that she's making in this movie, um, the movie within the movie that she's making, that she's shooting... I mean, it, it it looks and sounds pretty terrible, and you're supposed to believe that it's going to be this big hit, and it's supposed to be this big hit, but I'm, you know, you see glimpses of that film that she's making in this, and it's like, well, this actually looks pretty bad. And this movie itself, I mean, I barely liked it. I think it's, I think it's well made. I think it looks nice, the cinematography. The visual effects I didn't really care for. When they do practical stuff, it looks good. But when they go for visual effects, it just didn't look great to me and it looked kind of noticeable. I mean, the budget to this was pretty high and it it's not doing too well at the box office. I mean, I just feel like, look, if you want to have like a fun movie, sure. But I don't think that's enough to get you into the theater. I mean, I think people deserve a little more than just, like, turn your brain off action. I mean, that's kind of what this movie is. A lot of the action, I think, is fun and entertaining, but after the scene is over, you get 10 or 15 minutes more of plot, which I didn't really care for, and then the action happens again. It's like, okay, it's cool action, but I didn't like the story, couldn't get invested into it. And Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, I mean, they're, they're good together, they have good chemistry, but I didn't believe them as a romantic couple or people that, you know, were romantically interested in each other. I just didn't feel it. Even by the end of the film, didn't feel it. Um, so, look, I think this movie is a big disappointment for me. Like I said, it's well made. But I think the script is pretty bad. Also, I think it's too long. The last, like, ten minutes of this movie drag for me. Um, I was like, okay, this please just wrap this up. I mean, it just seems to continue and just seems to go on and on where I'm just saying that, okay, from the first 30 minutes, the last 10 minutes, it's just, let's, let's just reel it back. Um, so it's a little too long. I, I don't like the story. I couldn't get invested into it. I thought the movie was moderately entertaining. The action is good. But I'd like a little more to sink my teeth into. So, look, is this a bad movie? No. 
but I don't think it's that great of a movie either. And I just think it just skates by because it is fun. It is your dumb summer film. And this is a dumb movie. This is a dumb movie that, look, if you enjoyed it, all the power to you. And I'm happy that you did. But it just didn't work for me. And I'm going to give The Fall Guy three out of five stars. And I, I can see why it's you know, not doing the greatest at the box office. People want to have fun, but I, I think they also don't want to feel like idiots at the same time when they're having fun. So I think if this movie had a better screenplay it probably would have been a, a, a different result. So that's my thoughts on The Fall Guy, guys. Comment down below what you think about the film. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm just about off to see the Furiosa movie. I'm very excited to do so. I'm going to be able to see that, so i got a review coming out for that very soon. We're also going to be seeing Civil War, The First Omen, a bunch of other films that are recently hitting digital. So come on back for that. Hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and or X at Ranking72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingArises131. That's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for The Fall Guy. And until next time, over and out.